Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. You know, but Fast Bash, did, how did you guys, okay, you know, I hear these niggas talking, baby and all of them. These niggas stepping up with their little conversation. Yeah, these niggas, they, they want to talk about the Fast Bash. Yep. And, and and so this Fast Bash thing got them, got them talking. Yeah. You know, it costs money. These niggas coming. They, yeah, they, yeah, it costs money. Yeah. They ain't going to just jump on there and say, for now, I'm not crazy. Right. Oh, I'm a businessman. <laughs> it's something going down. Right. And, and I heard Mama Scott was the key to it all. Yeah. Boy, I tell you, that's love right there. <laughs> you hear me? Yeah, I want to talk about that part. All you right. know what I'm saying? Just how did you establish this fast bash? Wow. Well, four years ago, we had a... Um, potential investor that okay. wanted to invest in fast entertainment, which at that time it consisted of my three sons and an artist named Ghost, which okay. is still part of us, but he's inactive right now. Yeah. They wanted to invest and they came forward and they were saying they wanted to come to East Texas and put us out there because they wanted to put half a million dollars up under my sons. Mm -hmm. So my oldest son, like, you can't just bring them folks from Dallas down here like that. We ain't got nowhere for them to bring. Wow. you know. So we created Fast Bash, but we didn't make it just about us. Mm-hmm. We invited the whole city. We did a lineup. Um, they even gave away twenty prizes for uh, college students that year. They got they gave away ten five hundred dollar gift cards to college students going to school. So it was massive that first year. We had news coverage, newspaper coverage, and everything. So it really started out small, but just ended up. Whew, and, uh, and I feel valuable. like it was, yeah, I feel like it was like that because we was not selfish. Okay. You okay. know, and we included the whole city and, and others. And Trilly was a big part of that wow. too. You know, I have to always give him his kudos. You keep hollering that nigga name. Yeah, he must be that's like my work. brother. Get some work out that nigga. Get some work out that nigga. Don't let that nigga sleep at all. Work that nigga. You know what but I'm he's been there with me, you know what I'm saying? Good. Parallel that's good. through you a lot of that, stuff. Man. Yeah, so I'll never forget who right there beside me. I'll Moses never... had Aaron yeah. and you got him. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Gotta make it work. Yeah. Him and Mr. Scott, come out, my husband, by I heard all about means. him. Yeah. I heard, I ain't yeah. seen him yet, yeah. but yeah, hey, don't come up here with no problems, man. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> <laughs> like, man, come up here now. Don't come here like no cabbage. All head and but, nobody. Yeah, that Scott name is behind my husband. That's beautiful, so, man. Yeah, that's you know? what it is. And but that's um, that's a good thing. But that's how it originally um started and then we just kept it up the next year. And then last year we of course couldn't do it because of COVID. But like I say, this year was more important to me because I was blessed. You know what yeah, I'm saying? A blessing, of what happened yeah, with a your blessing life. that I didn't even anticipate yeah, coming yeah. to me. So my my mindset is different than most. I just look at I can't carry none of this stuff with me. I'm gonna be okay and I'm gonna make sure mine's is okay. But the overflow I wanted to put that back into my people That's beautiful. and do something that has never been done for East yeah, Texas, which yeah. is not charging them. Yeah, yeah. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Still making it be affordable for families yeah. to come out and enjoy yeah. Fast Bash, mm -hmm. but putting us in a better venue in, inside. We did it in the park for two years straight yeah, yeah, in yeah. the heat for yeah, nine yeah. hours a day and we yeah. had no incidences. We had bloods, crips, everybody wow, in the park. That's dope. And because of the respect I feel that they have for me mm -hmm. and the team and, and what our what our goal was as a movement, we didn't have any issues. Mm. And it drew people together. Even people that was at odds with each other, it, it solved so many problems. In a city which was Longview, aka Murderview at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That it resolved a lot and it started all that stuff started kind of going away Man, God even though good. we experienced still stuff from time to time it's nothing like the 19 unsolved murders that we came into when I came on the scene yeah. but so so this bash you got let me tell you something I wrote a <laughs> list down you got Lil Runny yes Bugatti Casino yes Muddy Casino yes what is it, Sancho Saucy yes Lucas Tech yeah you got, man, of course, AJ1K, he ain't yeah. gonna get no money or nothing. Yeah. He's just son. He ain't getting nothing. He is not getting nothing. He just better be there, get himself there, and sit down until we get ready to talk to him. You know, don't come in here like you don't know that we doing this boy. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> Nigga, you, you, you as good as them, yes. but don't, don't, you, don't do this. Yes. <laughs> so is there more? I missed some names, I'm pretty Those sure. Those are my five headliners. Okay. Uh, and the reason why they're booked is because I personally have relationships relationships with all okay. of those and tech i don't as of yet i had a relationship like i've i've gone to know his mom keitha is his my manager okay so we had that in common me and her and i was like man you manage tech she said yes yeah, my son so we started talking behind Rolling the scenes 
Ro is he's on the East Texas. He's one of my booked East Texas artists. Okay, that I'm gonna say yeah. uh, he's so a paid East no, Texas no artist. No Guala P. <laughs> Guala P will be out of town that weekend. Yeah, I'm and pretty Cico sure. P. He's gonna be out of town. They right there together. Hell, yeah. I ain't crazy. I've, I've talked to both of them. Okay. I have personally okay. spoke to both of them. So, okay. Yeah. 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 So, but Smitty Hawkins is on there. Smitty Hawkins is on yeah, there. Yeah. Al D. Smoothie ain't on Smitty. there. That's my nigga right there. Al D. Coming. <laughs> that nigga, that boy, that nigga can rap. That's who Trilly. You know, Trill Tr- Tr- Talk, no Pill Talk, put this thing out. He got ten rappers, and them niggas in Dallas, they said what they said, and the Houston niggas said what they said, and the whole time I, I said, nigga, don't do this now. But then. I thought about Al D. I said, boy, that nigga gonna be a problem for whoever he goes. <laughs> you know, you start looking at yeah. the ones that he putting, you yeah. know, you start thinking about it, and it's just something to think about. It can yeah. happen. My other co host was like, set it up. Yeah. You know what I'm trying to say? Set it Bigger up. Bigger bag, yeah. Tim. Say, so, it's some heavy weighters, yeah. man, down there. I love what's going on with the yeah. music, and it is a competitive there, thing. There are a couple that I, I wish could have made the, the, yeah. the lineup and stuff like that, but due to irreconcilable differences sometimes or things that in the past sometimes it's not best for them to be premiered but we still rock with them we still support them mm-hmm. uh, one of the people he, he's still doing massive work I want to give him a shout out and let him know that we still rocking with him and that's Camp Nowhere he's massive yeah, out of these senses I used to manage him as well, but his career and me separated. Yeah. You know, so, but we still wish him the Ain't best. Nothing. Actually, Fast Bash, it was originated for to give East Texas a platform You're doing for a them great to job. do. But th- th- I want them to know, like, they, they drag their feet. And we have Angry Birds right now, that's what I call them, because they wait till I told them that, though. When this list come out, you're going to be mad at your homeboys that got on it. Oh, and you, you drug your that's feet. That's your list so on, the, that, on that bash. On, on that yeah, bash. Man. But it's not just East Texas. We got people from Louisiana, Louisiana. coming, we got people from Dallas. We got people from Houston. It's all over because they see it because they don't have that out there. And then for you to be in East Texas and not uh, take advantage of something so massive as even as just the networking. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, quit making excuses. Like, God, dog, if it's free, you ain't got. If, if, if it's free and you claim you are the hottest nigga in East Texas, there's no reason your support team shouldn't be there. That's right. True. So let me ask you this because I think about the Boosie Bash when you keep saying this. Yeah. Is this in similarity to that, or I think did Boosie's you, Bash came out like right with ours. Like, he, okay. this is his third annual. Too. Okay, so y'all y'all kind of doing the same mm-hmm. type deal. That's great. How man. many people turned up last year? Um, well, well, the last the time last, we did it, I ran that, yeah. I ran fifty two artists through on the stage that okay. day, and we was out there all day. And as far as the turn up, we probably had about about 300 to 400 people, you know, in and out the whole day. This particular time we'll be at the Holiday Inn inside and we'll have the concert that night at the, at the same venue. Inside? Shout out, yeah, it's going to be indoors, climatized, nice venue. It's nice. How many people can they fit? Um, Up to what? 600. About 600. Do you have a VIP Inn? section? Yes. Because that's where E would be. You gonna come yeah. to the VIP? If, if I'm there. <laughs> yeah, well, come on. If I'm there. I got yeah. your I got your logo on the floor. I'm always uh, in the VIP, yeah, well, baby. Come on in. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> like when I show up, I might have on a meat coat, nigga. You don't yeah, even well, know what you're doing. It's in the later. summertime. It's all yeah, later. Don't play. I'm coming when I come. I don't come wrong. I come I right. <laughs> no, I come through. You know, yeah. they be like, he high side too yes, much. But I, that's how I come. We got Bubba <laughs> Dub coming. He's gonna be our nighttime host, 23 Cup. Is going to be our daytime host wow. for the event. Man, that's dope. And, and how many artists you having this year? We are 32 acts that's actually competing okay. for the first three prizes. The top prizes is $1,000 cash and a trophy wow. and a package. The second prize is $750 cash and a trophy and a package. The third prize is usually what other people have there as their first prize, which is $500. So, I mean, at the end that of the day. Dope, man. And this is all day and night. Starts yeah, at what it starts time? at 3 p.m. and it ends at midnight, but the contest goes from. Three to eight. So okay. at eight fifteen, they'll announce the winner of Fast Bash, and then we will bring on the East Texas artists, which is like I say, Smitty Hawkins, Ro Tarantino, Bigger Bag Tim, and Al D. Then Fast Entertainment will take place after that. They will do their set, and then we will go into the mainstream artists around probably by nine thirty that night. Shout out to uh, uh, Mogul Media. You need to get uh, Mama Scott on the gatekeeper list because uh, it's going down. You know? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And nah. salute to the five judges that took the responsibility of coming to weather that storm Who through me. The judges? the judges will be LaRon Perkins, which is Half Pint Films. He's one of my judges. That's my boy. He's been on here. Yeah, everybody's known. Shay Trendy of New Swag TV. Okay. She's going to be in the building mm-hmm. as a judge. Brittany Stanton of Bior Truth. She's one of the ones that's responsible for bringing in all the artists. Artists, yeah, acts, and yeah, stuff for Tyler yeah. now. That's dope. Son of TSF, which is one of Sauce Walker's main managers. Wow. And then Ant 
Williams of Virginia. He's um, an A and R for Def Jam Records and also uh, Rock Runner Management. So. Wow. Yeah, we on Boss Talk One on One.